Hello. We're here in the garden underneath the oak tree. Um, the last of my original tomatoes has finally died. Uh, and I, here it is. Uh, right there. See those roots? That was it. That viney brown thing. That's it. So it was planted here, and before I planted it, I dug a big trench all along here, over to about there, where that, where this plant is right here. And I filled it with oak leaves, that kind of nasty oak leaves that don't break down well. And the idea behind that was it would, it would act like a water reservoir underneath the plants, which worked very well. Anyways, I've, now I finally have the chance. I've been wanting to do this for a long time now. It's probably been about a year and a half. And uh, I finally got a chance to dig up under where those roots were. And uh, what I found is pretty interesting. So I dug this out. This is the dirt that came out of the hole. If you look at it closely, I don't know how well the camera will pick up on this. But you see that flakiness? Those are the leaves. They're, they're broken up pretty good. A lot of them have turned to soil. But, um, let's see. You can see the, that they're just breaking down a whole lot. But like, that's part of the leaf right there. They got roots mixed in with them. The roots like growing in it. They're moist, they're dark. I think that our native clay soil has worked its way into it pretty well because it's got a lot of properties of that. But it's good soil and there's a lot of a lot of roots mixed in. The roots like it. There's air, there's water, it's good stuff. So it's labor intensive but you can make good soil out of nothing but terrible nasty oak leaves and terrible nasty clay soil by just burying it and waiting, plant on top of it. Now, I don't have the hose on, but I'd like to spray water in here and see how fast it absorbs. Maybe I'll do that real quick. Absorbs it fast. Okay, yeah, all the way absorbed. I'm gonna turn the hose off. Hehehehe. <laughs>